Hi guys, Steph here. Now, what we've got for you today is, well, in my opinion, a very underrated um, fountain pen of this particular era. This is the, the Blackbird fountain pen from the company Maybe, Maybe Todd and Company. Um, you can see it's got this sort of torpedo or cigar shaped um, this particular one, as you can see, is in this black colour. These particular pens uh, came in numerous different colours, in blues, red, uh, green marbles. Um, as we said, this is a nice classic black colour. You can see to the cap there, it's got this quite a thin cap band to the bottom of the cap. And it's got this um, quite a thin clip to the top with the word Blackbird written on the clip and then if we take you to the top there you can see it's got this golden uh, golden stud to the top now what you've noticed um, this particular pen does not have any lever they also brought this particular pen out in a lever fill um, system but this one is a leverless filling system which we'll show you in a moment now the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom approximately um, 131 millimeters capped. Um, it slightly tapers down to this um, sort of torpedo end there, but to the to the bowl around this particular section, it's approximately about 11.5 millimeters in in diameter. Um, as I say, this is the Blackbird pen. I date this pen from around about the 1950s. It was actually brought out. Um, to, towards the end of when maybe Todd um, began sort of slowing down or you know when they, they began their demise of actually making fountain pens so again dating it around about the 1950s the Blackbird I would say was a sort of the middle middle tier fountain pen um, from maybe Todd um, we all well I say we all know the the Swan Maybe Todd range was the top of the range. Then they brought out what they term, as I say, these particular pens, the Blackbirds. And they also brought down, which was a sort of lower tier, I believe, with, with what they term as the Swallow Fountain Pens. Now, first of all, let's take off the cap, as you can see, which unscrews. Let's give you a twirl. A very nice pen, if I may say so uh, myself. As I say, very underrated. I've, I've actually restored this particular one. We've put a new sack in it, so we'll show you working in a moment. Let's show you the section to the top there. You can see uh, it's got this little step-down section where the sort of the barrel sits. Sorry, yeah, the cap sits onto the barrel there. We've got the threaded section, and you can see the feed tapers down towards towards the nib now the nib on this pen it's a lovely nib um quite a sort it's not a large size and it's not a small size nib if i keep it nice and still for you you can see it reads blackbird underneath got the letter g um underneath it's got 14 c or 14 carat 585 and then to the bottom it's got maybe Todd and Company Limited. Um, you can't see it because it's inside the section. But to the very bottom it says made in England. So let's show you a sideways view there. And then if we turn it over let's show you the feed to the back there. You can see it's got this, this ribs to the side there. Um, a very typical maybe Todd feed to the back there. Now, as we said before, actually one thing I've not actually shown you, let's show you the the imprint which is nice and clear on this pen. And what you'll actually see here, it actually reads Blackbird. And then underneath, um, I forgot what it actually says, a, sorry, a Swan Product England. Okay, so whereas the earlier models had maybe Todd and Company, this one says um, Blackbird and again underneath a Swan product England so as I say the the pen was made 1950s towards the very end when um, maybe Todd and company sort of began stopping making making fountain pens so it may be one of the last pens they actually made this particular model as I said there's no lever on it so 
what we do with this particular pen we unscrew the blind cap here and let's bring you a nice and close shot of that it's not a button filler um, it's got this sort of gnarled knob to the end there let's keep it nice and still for you and how this pe pen actually works is nice and simple what we do we simply turn it clockwise like so and you see it goes in slightly so and then we can actually undo the knob like so so it's on a thread and as you actually turn it the knob goes in and what it actually does inside we've got a pressure bar which um, as we screw this particular knob down it presses on the pressure pressure bar which in turn bends and then puts pressure on the sack inside and then once you actually undo this knob it actually springs back into place and allows the sack inside to fill with ink so I think a very interesting design as opposed to the button fill where most button fills you simply press and again you've got pressure bar inside this one as we said what you actually do is simply turn it and then once you you finish and turn the knob like so. So, as I said, we've put a new sack in it. We've fully restored it. So let's uh, let's do a little bit of writing. So we dip the nib in the ink. Again, we simply turn this little knob to the top. You can't see it, but I can see bubbles in the ink. I undo the knob to the top there. Give it a couple of seconds. Just shake shake the ink off like so give it a wipe with a tissue and then let's get the blind cap again pop it back into place like so and let's bring on some paper so again first time it's been written since i've restored it and put a new sack in so let's see how it goes so what we have is a a blackbird Okay, we just need to give it a little time for the ink to actually to come through. It's skipping slightly. So it looks like it may need it may need slight adjustment. Oh no, as we're writing here, it's coming through okay. There we go. The pen is writing with a a fine line number six sorry seven eight nine there's no there's no flexibility in the nib which is sort of unusual with these swan pens sometimes you actually find the the swan maybe Todd pens have um, flexible nibs but this one's as I say there's no flexibility in it it's actually writing with a fine line but writing nicely okay so let's show you the the sample there as you can see the pen's writing with a a nice fine line so let's put the cap back on so there we have it this is the blackbird fountain pen a swan product made in england in my opinion again as i said earlier very much underrated although saying that the collectors um, are finding these now more and more desirable the only downfall with these particular pens at the time were that the the plating on the clip was more of well it wasn't so much gold plated it was more of a gold wash and what you'll what you'll find is some of these pens in the wild you'll find that the clip um, is is well it's like a chrome color because the um, well the gold plates or the gold wash has actually worn off there's some slight wear to this particular one although I've actually seen worst worst examples so that's the only downfall apart from that in my opinion still a nice pen nicely built pen you know and again I feel it's it's still a quality item although it was one of the lower tiers within the swan range so we'll leave it at that there we have it the swan or the blackbird swan fountain pen i hope you've enjoyed looking at it oh well as always as much as i enjoy showing them to you don't forget there's loads and loads of videos go and have a look leave a comment don't be shy uh, even subscribe as well 
but for now I'll just say bye bye now.